Hey everybody, welcome back. This is uh, the first of a series of videos that I wanted to do for people who have built the Mr. Rags macro keyer. We're going to show you exactly how to get it up and running, do the setup routines. We'll talk about the soft macros and the hard macros and how to use it. And finally, we'll wrap up with a video that shows all of the many different modes that you'll be able to use with your keyer. So stick around. The first time you launch your Mr. Rags keyer, this is the screen that you're going to see. So simply touch the left paddle and now we have an opportunity to set the frequency for our side tone. You can move the frequency up or down. Let's take it up. When you get it where you want it, just simply press your function key once. Now we'll do the same thing with setting the speed. So let's speed this up a little bit. We'll use the uh, left paddle to increase the speed. The right paddle will bring it down. And again, press your function key uh, when you've got it where you want it. You'll be able to change both the frequency of the side tone and the speed of your key or any time you want later. But now we need to take care of a few settings. We need to let Mr. Rags know who we are. But let me tell you first about our menus here. You'll see choices here numbered. And the number represents how long you hold down the function key. When the function key is being held down, you will hear a series of beeps. So if you want the third item in your menu, you hold the key down for three beeps. Let's take care of the user settings first. So I'll go one beep. Mr. Rags needs to know who we are. So again, I've got a menu here. I'm going to tell Mr. Rags my call sign. So one beep. And we'll just send my call sign. Once you've got it in, press the function key once more. A single beep will store it. Now I'll give it my name. To do that, I'll hold the function key down for two beeps. And I'll send my name. I'll store it with one beep. Finally, for this demonstration, I'll finish by storing my QTH. First, I'll hold the function key down for three beeps, and then my QTH. I want to put a space in here. To do that, I'll hold the function key down for two beeps. The cursor has moved over. Now I'll put in a comma, another space, and then my state. Now I'm going to put in a period, but let's say I make a mistake and I don't send it right. That's not a period. We also have a means of doing a backspace. I'm going to hold the function key down for three beeps and it will backspace and remove my error. Now I can put the correct character in. I've got my QTH stored correctly. A single beep will save it. And that's enough of the configuration that we need to do right now to start experimenting with our keyer. Let's talk for a moment about how we get out of a menu that we've been in. You see that the current menu, we have four choices here. If I want to back up and go back one level, 
all I have to do is hold that function key down for more than four beeps. Any, any number greater than four, because there's four items in the menu, will back me up a menu. So let's hold it down for five beeps. Okay. This puts us back to the opening configuration menu. There are three choices here. Again, if I hold it down for longer than three choices, I'll back out of the menu and we will go into our CQ mode. Watch how I do this. I can go four or five beeps. There's four beeps. Now we're back and Mr. Regs is in CQ mode. We're in CQ mode, we know, because that's what it says right here. One quick word about the date that you see right here. This is simply the version date of the software. That's pretty quick and simple, but it's enough to get you going. Before we move on to the next video, I'd like to remind you that you too can build your own Mr. Egg's Macro Keyer. It's a fun and easy kit to put together. It's all through hole construction. You can do it in an evening. If you'd like to find out more about how to do that, point your phone at this QR code up here or click on the link below in the description. We'll see you soon. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.